What's up, black and white sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, this is Super Bowl week. A new champion in the NFL will be crowned on Sunday. San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes versus Jimmy Gar Garoppolo. Who's going to come out on top? We will find out this Sunday. But however, unfortunately, this Super Bowl week is quite different. Everything is different in the world of sports right now. Kobe Bryant, Lakers legend, passed away at 41 years old with his daughter. Very, very tragic, very, very sad. And Kobe Bryant has transcended sports. He is so iconic globally that everything has just changed in a blink of an eye. The Super Bowl has become an afterthought. I can't think of a time in my lifetime where the Super Bowl week really is kind of like second page news now in the world of sports. This is supposed to be their time. Now, I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. You know, it's not Kobe Bryant's fault or anything. It's not even the NFL's fault. When you have an iconic superstar athlete like Kobe Bryant, when he passes away, and especially in the way that he did and with his daughter, it's going to be front page news. It's going to be. Now, I truly believe that the Super Bowl is going to be a very, very good football game. But this week of the Super Bowl, you know, media day, I don't think there's really going to be any buzz to it. It's going to be different because even in media day, I think you're going to have a lot of players reflecting on Kobe Bryant. I mean, to most of the NFL players today, they grew up watching Kobe. He was their Michael Jordan. Now, I grew up watching Michael Jordan. I'm a few years older than what, what Kobe is. And for one thing, also, I'm a Rockets fan. And honestly, I wasn't really a Kobe fan or a Lakers fan. For one thing, we were in the same conference and we were getting knocked out the playoffs by Shaq and Kobe and then Kobe and Paul Gasol. But I always respected his game. Always did. And I'm a big football fan. Huge Dallas Cowboys fan if you watch the channel. Um, unfortunately, we aren't in the Super Bowl, but that's another story, so I digress. Just to see how big he is, how big of a name Kobe was. I can't even put it into words. Guys younger than me, you know, they Kobe had a huge impact on them. Huge impact. And I'm pretty sure you're going to hear the same words being said during media day. If I'm not mistaken, I think media day is actually probably tomorrow uh, for Super Bowl week, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm pretty sure a lot of players are going to get questions about Kobe and they're going to respond how he impacted them as athletes, how he inspired them, that kind of thing. Because I watch a lot of um, FS1, Skip and Shannon. Colin Cowherd, First Things First. All of those guys are out there in Miami right now for Super Bowl week. And the Super Bowl was an afterthought. I mean, yeah, they taught some Super Bowl, but it wasn't the main topic. And it probably won't be the main topic all week. I'm pretty sure as the week goes on, they'll get more into football. But everyone, all football fans, basketball fans, Everyone is still in shock that Kobe Bryant has passed away. Everyone. So I don't know if the, they're going to do something at the Super Bowl to honor Kobe. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they will. Um, I'm not really sure. But I think Kobe's memory is going to be lingering all over the Super Bowl. That's how much he was beloved by his peers, his fans, and other athletes. Now, like I said, I didn't grow up a Kobe fan. I didn't. I mean, when he first came into the league, I was like, man, this dude just wants to be Michael Jordan. And he was supremely talented. And he won those three championships with Shaq. I mean, always gave Shaq more credit. He was a better player then. He just was.
but Kobe did blossom into an all time great player. And that's what he was. Super clutch, very clutch player. Wasn't afraid of the big moment at all. Not at all. But I think because a human life was lost, the Super Bowl will be overshadowed. And I believe rightly so. Rightly so. When you have somebody of his statue that passes away, it's going to take precedence. I'm pretty sure when Roberto Clemente passed away when he was delivering aid in Central or South America, I'm pretty sure that was bid for his time. I can't imagine what his family's going through. I can't imagine it. And it does really kind of hurt me a lot inside for his family. I mean, we're supposed to be, me and Rhodes are supposed to be talking about Super Bowl stuff this week. In all honesty, I really don't even feel like it from a sports standpoint. I mean, Kobe is just clouding everything in my mind right now when it comes to sports. I mean, I was really hyped for this week going into the week. And I was looking forward to the inter- interviews and seeing what players are want to say. I'm just not feeling that right now. I'm just not feeling it. I'm still going to watch the game. I think the game is going to be fantastic. But do you kind of feel the same way that I do that Kobe right now? He just seems more important than the Super Bowl. At least all the events leading up to it, because in all honesty, all these events, you know, the the media, the interviews, none of that's going to matter. The only thing that matters is, is the team ready to show up on Sunday and perform? And I think they will. But this is a very, very different Super Bowl. I can't remember a Super Bowl like this in my lifetime where the game seems so far away right now. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The Super Bowl taking a second page to Kobe Bryant. I think it's just. But I just never thought that I would feel this way going into this week. It's a very, very sad few days. It's going to be a sad week overall. And this Super Bowl, unfortunately, probably won't be remembered for the game. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time.